All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm solving this log equation, this is my last example from section 5.5. Five. If I'm solving this log equation, my first thing to do with the minus in between these two log base 2 functions is to use the quotient rule. So this becomes the single log base 2 of the quotient 3x minus 10 on the top, x minus 3 on the bottom, and this is equal to 2. So my first step was to apply the quotient rule. I'm now going to turn this into, uh, well, I'm going to convert it from log form into exponential form. 2 raised to the second power will equal 3x minus 10 divided by x minus 3. So 4 equals 3x minus 10 over x minus 3. 4 is 4 over 1, so I'm going to cross multiply. 4 times the quantity x minus 3 is 4x minus 12 equals 3x minus 10. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm going to be left with x equals 2. And I want to check that answer by going back to the original problem. <clears throat> 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 10 is negative 4. Nope. In other words, it makes the argument negative. Therefore, my solution to this equation is the empty set, or as some of you write, no solution. And we're done.